G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a HP NV13. This particular one has the model number 13-AG1076TU. And sadly, this particular one, there's really not much we can do in the way of upgrading it, but I'm still gonna open it up and show you, just so you can see for yourself. We're gonna need a T, where are we? Nope, I've lost that. A T4 screwdriver for the two screws along the front. And then you're gonna need a pair of tweezers to lift up the silicon plastic feet that are on here. Like along here, and then on the front here, we are damaged and missing. Just be able to pull it in. Carefully pry it up. For me, this is coming off a bit easier because I've already done this once before. I wanted to check the RAM earlier, and then I thought I'd record for you guys. So with that off to, and off to the side, next up, just a standard Phillips head screwdriver. Should get us rest of the way into the machine. And these screws all seem to be of the same length. The ones along the front are different. So we also have two along the front here. There we go. And I used a thin metal pry tool just along here. Leave it up. And from there, a little bit of prying. Could potentially use a business card. I'm going to use a plastic pry tool. Slide it in, twist, and twist. Lay it back down. From there, we should be able to just lift it up. At least with a bit of luck. There we go. Now we're in. As you can see from here, we don't really have much in the way of upgradability. Sadly, what we can really upgrade is the SSD here. You'd be able to use a NVMe SSD on this one as we're using a 10th gen Intel processor in here. You could potentially upgrade your Wi-Fi card over here. And the battery itself can be replaced. You'll like disconnect over here. You have one, two screws holding it in and from there you should be able to take that out. Also, a couple other things to point out. One, we have the replaceable fan here. So if the CPU fan fails, that is replaceable. Going over to here, I believe this bit here may be a shield or shielding around the soldered on RAM module. Can it be upgraded? Well, that's the size of a stick of RAM here. As you see, it's physically too large to go in there. So this has got soldered on RAM that does look to be unupgradable. Also another thing to note, if we go over to this side here, we have the power jack, and this particular one is removable or replaceable if damaged. Can't quite see where it's going down here. This doesn't look to be the connection for it. But being that this isn't soldered in, where are we? We are snaking our way under here. I'm feeling it's connecting to the board underneath the hinge here. So with that one, you could potentially replace that if you do damage it. Anyway, there's really not much more to it to point out apart from that. So if we put the back cover back on, should just sit it on top, push down, click, crunch into place. There we go. Go. Next up, put some screws into it. Just remember, larger ones go at the back. Smaller Phillips head screws go at the front. And T4 screws go along the very front. So sadly this one, you've got 8 gig, of VRAM, 8 gig of RAM in it. That is not upgradable. It is what you've purchased it at. So you've traded off lightweight have, well, traded, or well, HP have traded, it being lightweight and compact for the sake of having soldered on components. Luckily, the storage is still upgradable if needed. Oh, putting the wrong screws in the wrong place there. These smaller screws here go in here. And yeah, 
Hope that helps. You may potentially be able to upgrade your, or replace your battery, CPU fan, SSD, oh, clicked in, SSD, Wi-Fi card, and battery. Anyway, that will do for today. I hope this helps, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.